Okay, so in this video we're going to factor x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15, um, given that 1 is a root. So we're told that 1 is a root and we're being asked to factor. Um, okay, so we're going to do this method by long division. If you're looking for synthetic division specifically, please click the link um, and go to the next video where we'll do this by synthetic division. But I think everyone should see the long division at least once. Uh, okay, so let's get started. So uh, the first thing to realize is that um, since 1 is a root, so since we have that 1 as a root, x minus 1 divides x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15. So in other words, um, x minus 1 is a factor of this, so we can factor this, and one, once we factor all the way down, this will be one of the terms. Um, and that, another way of saying that is that x minus 1 actually divides this. So what we'll do is we'll do a, a actual long division here. So, okay, uh, let's start by just kind of setting it up. So we'll do x minus 1 divides, is going to divide into this polynomial x cubed, maybe let me let me do some separate colors here. How about I'll make this green, our original polynomial. x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15. Okay, so this works a lot like uh, long division for numbers. What we want to do is we want to put a term here, something, and what we're going to do is we're going to take this something and multiply it by x minus 1 and put the result down here. So we'll get something and we'll put it down here. And then we'll subtract. Okay, so that's very vague. Let's take a look at what I, I actually mean. What we want to do is we want to essentially put something here where we can subtract off this term. So we need what multiplies x that makes it equal to x cubed. Well, the answer is x squared. When you multiply x by x squared, you get x cubed. So we put an x squared here, and then we kind of go off to the side, and we do a little calculation, and we say, okay, x squared times this whole term, x minus 1, is equal to x squared, min uh, sorry, x cubed minus x squared. So that's what goes here, x cubed minus x squared, and then we subtract this whole thing. And so remember, the minus sign is going to distribute, so we'll get minus x cubed, and then the minus sign will distribute to the x squared, we'll get plus x squared. So let me actually distribute that now. I'll just rewrite it. So this is after we distribute the minus sign, we get minus x cubed plus x squared. Okay, so now we we do this and we get x cubed minus x cubed, that's good, that's just zero, that goes away. And then we get minus 3x squared plus x squared gives us minus 2x squared. And let me actually do that in green because that's going to be part of our new thing, minus 2x squared. And then this 13 comes down, My, this minus 13 comes down and we get minus 13x. Okay, so we've gotten rid of the x cubed. Now we're just going to kind of pluck terms off as we go. Now we'll, we want to get rid of this x squared. So we look again and we say, okay, what do we have to multiply x by to make it equal to minus 2x squared? And the answer is minus 2x. Okay, so let me actually erase these here. Now we go off to the side again, our little purple scratch work. And we say, okay, minus 2x times x minus 1. This gives us minus 2x squared plus, because this is going to be a minus times a minus, plus 2x. Okay, so that's what we write down here, minus 2x squared plus 2x. But don't forget, we're subtracting this whole thing, minus this whole thing. So the minus sign is going to distribute. Let me 
rewrite this with the minus sign distributed. We're going to have a positive 2x and a, a positive 2x squared and a minus 2x. Okay, so minus 2x plus 2x, that, be, that just goes away, so those terms go away. And then we have a minus 13x minus 2x gives us a minus 15x. And then again, this term is going to come down, the plus 15. And now we just have one last step here. What times x gives us minus 15x? Well, of course, it's minus 15. And so our last step here, we do our little purple, purple scratch work again. Minus 15 times x minus 1 is equal to minus 15x plus 15. Okay, so that's what we put here, minus 15x plus 15. Now let me come down a little bit. Again, we're going to subtract this whole thing. So that minus sign is going to distribute. So maybe I'll just do this. This should be uh, plus 15x minus 15. And now we look and we add these together. Minus 15x plus 15x, that's 0. Plus 15 minus 15, that's 0. So we get a remainder of 0, which is good. That's what we wanted. We wanted it to be a remainder of 0. So what does this tell us? This tells us that uh, x minus 1 times x squared minus 2x minus 15 is the way that our, polynomial, our original polynomial factors, x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15. So let me erase some of this scratch work so that I can just write that down. You can always rewind the video. So all in all, what we what we found out was x minus 1 times x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15. So we figured out how to factor our cubic polynomial. Now the last step though, however, is now let's factor the, the quadratic term, x squared minus 2x minus 15. So okay, how do we do that? Well we look for two numbers that multiply to 15 and add up to minus 2. So it's not too hard to see that's going to be minus 5 and 3. They multiply to negative 15, they add to minus 2. So we get, as our final factoring, x minus 1, x minus 5, and x plus 3 is equal to x cubed minus 3x squared minus 13x plus 15. Okay, so this term came from this quadratic and the x minus 1, well we were told that one, uh, 1 was a root so x minus 1 divides the polynomial and we use that to, kind of, to factor by actually just doing the division. Okay, so this is the long method by doing long division, but the next video we'll do the same problem, but we'll do it by synthetic division. We'll get the same answer and we'll get it a little bit quicker. Uh, okay, see you then.